It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1817, recorded Thursday, February 4th, 2021. Shockingly tasteful. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have three gadgets from the Food Tech Show. I have a brand new crappy corner category, and we're back to y'all's viewer videos, all next on The Giz Win! It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Wiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, consuming some tech. Dick D. Bartolo, <laughs> how you doing, Dicky D? Uh, I'm doing good, sir. And you? I'm doing good myself. Doing very, very good. Excellent. Uh, I sent you a photo. We had a big did. deal snowstorm Sunday into Monday into Tuesday, and that the trains are under there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, being a southerner myself. Snow always looks so romantic and so, you know, it's just fun and gorgeous. And then being someone who got to travel a bit, it's not. <laughs> no. It's, it's maybe that no. for a day. And then yes. it's oh, cold, yes. it's wet, it gets everywhere, it gets dirty. But that is a lot of snow. That Holy was, moly. yeah, you know, all the way to the left of the picture, you can see a little black stanchion. That's like the overhead signal light that the trains go under. <laughs> so that just shows how much snow. The official in, in Central Park was 17.4 inches, but it looked higher than that in the yard. But the great thing is, that Mickey Mouse thing I did a show on where you could hook a hose up to a bathroom sink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hooked the hose up. And fortunately, uh, when I bought the hose at the time, it was like $70 or something. And I thought, that's a lot of money for a hose, but it was like <laughs> heavy duty. Anyway, um, hooked it up to the sink and ran fairly hot water through it. And was able to melt tons of snow. Oh, well, there you so go. So that the um, so that the umbrellas wouldn't break. And last time, uh, the greenhouse collapsed in one corner from the weight of the snow. And this was even more snow than that. So I was able to run out three or four times and just keep melting snow on top of the greenhouse. That's great. Yeah, it was great. It was great. And also make a pass for Charlie to be able to run around. So that's great. Um, that was like a big plus. Melted snow cones. Is, I mean, maybe you could sell <laughs> that <It's> water. <laughs> that's our newest water bottle. You know, you know, you got Fiji. Ooh, fancy Ozark. Uh, came from the Ozark Mountains. Melted snow cones. Oh, it's there the you fun go. water bottle. There you go. There you go. <laughs> we could make uh, an ice cream cone that heats up. So that at the end, if you're thirsty, you can melt the last bit of your ice cream and then just, drink it. Yeah, you just get from milk. The cone. Yeah. yeah. And then eat the cone. Yeah. It's a it's it's a meal, a dessert, and a drink in one. The three All in, in one. one Gizwiz cone. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. We'll start Coming a Kickstarter. Indigo be millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> um anything else new? Uh Boy, not me. much. Yeah, not so much. I, I almost feel like January for me like didn't happen. Like this is now the start of 2021. I'm ready to go. We're starting in February this year. Uh, but uh, maybe that's just me. <laughs> I'm very oh, excited about the crappy corner theme. Oh, good. I, I was hoping I had two gadgets already bought um, for the two different themes themes that I thought were going to win. And so I, I okay. already had a gadget in mind for the one that ended up squeaking by. So uh, I'm very excited about that when we get to that segment. Oh, good. Oh, good. That sounds yeah. exciting. 
Um, right. Well, should we just jump into yeah, this? Let's jump in. Um, uh, okay, so Food Tech is a show in Vegas, and they run it uh, at the end of CES. And of course, this year, uh, it was also virtual. And when I got a press release about a new $600 oven, I thought, you know, we've seen lots of them. And then I was reading on, have you ever used a, uh, what is it, sous vide uh, yes. cooker? Yeah, sous vide is used when, when you, you have a little device that heats the water and you put your food in a bag. Yeah, I have one. And, and it I, takes I like hours, it. right? Yeah, but that's kind of the the appeal not the time but the amount the amount of precision that you can get with it it takes a lot of time but you can get very precise make sure if you have even a super thick cut of beef the entire beef is going to be you know 160 degrees or whatever you set it to um, oh okay okay so yeah, well anyway a nova which makes sous vide cookers came out with a new oven that is like $600, but it incorporates a sous vide machine in it. Hmm. So the oven, well, well, let's look at their little video. Okay? okay, it's pretty impressive. Here's their promo. This is the oven. Four years ago, we challenged ourselves to develop an oven so precise and so advanced that it deserved the Innova name. So I'm thrilled to announce the launch of the Innova Precision Oven the first combination steam convection oven with pro-level features designed specifically for the home. We want to change the way the world cooks, and we've done it before. With sous vide, we showed you how achieving perfect doneness was really a matter of excellent temperature control. Millions of home cooks experience the delight of creating picture-perfect meals with greater confidence. With the Innova Precision Oven, we're now giving home cooks control over temperature and humidity. Perfect results won't require a bag or a water bath. If you were cooking with any other oven, you'd have to do backflips to get the kind of chicken, sourdough bread, and veggies that the Innova Precision Oven produces. Not to mention the precision, control, and confidence that comes with it. Professional chefs rely on expensive, commercial combi ovens, but the Innova Precision Oven is the first affordable, full-featured combination oven for the at-home cook. For the first time ever, you can have a sleek, steam-enabled, Wi-Fi-connected, sous-vide-crushing, multi-stage cooking piece of precision right in your own home. Steam control and convection heating creates a gentle cooking environment. Steamy, caramelized veggies, delicate fluffy cheesecake, rich tender omelets, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, the possibilities are endless. Welcome to a whole new world of cooking. Here at Innova, our team is on a mission. We want to democratize great cooking by giving you professional level tools at an affordable price, designed specifically for the home cook. With the Innova Precision Oven, you'll be amazed at the results you can achieve. In creating this oven, we were inspired by our Innova Food Nerd community. When we sold millions of our sous vide devices, you taught us so much about how you want to cook. And we're incredibly proud to be on this adventure for great food together. This product is yours as much as ours. And we hope you love it as much as we do. Go to innovaculinary.com to buy yours today. You're going to like the way you cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a little cheesy cakey. Um, with at the very end with that wink anyway <laughs> yeah yes exactly exactly uh, so, it's certainly the first oven uh that has a water reservoir yeah so, so it's not sous vide it's it's a uh, steam so uh, i i swear okay, but it's it says sous vide cooking in 50 percent less time but you're right it, it it doesn't soak the... Yes. So I think it's saying it's sous vide level cooking. Like it's oh, as good okay. as sous vide in less time. Okay. Um, I have heard of ovens like this. And I even remember reading some article that was like, it's what the secret of restaurants is steam ovens. Because the steam can help really cook yeah. and then keep everything moist and, and whatnot. On top of that, it's an oven. So you got, you know, your broiler and the oven stuff and it also does convection so it'll have a fan in there that'll kind of move some some air around it looks gorgeous it does look gorgeous and what's interesting is that the panel there the led panel is in the handle yeah 
So you yeah. put your hand behind that to pull the oven door open. And I imagine like that there's the June... a tremendous learning curve for this. So I don't I don't wonder because the so with the June oven, which is the other like six hundred dollar, like that's the yep. other like smart oven. There's a there's like a like a a phone embedded in the door, and you have a touch screen. And so this one doesn't have that, but it does look it looks like it has an app that integrates in. So I wonder if you just say like, I want to bake a turkey, go. You know if if it'll do it, if it'll just figure it all out for you. You know, I don't know. Because I know Leo, a lot of Leo's what, uh, yeah. June oven has a camera in it. Yeah, yeah. And you can at any time, I don't know why you want to, uh, <laughs> unless you have friends over where you can say, oh, let's look at, uh, see how the uh, beef is doing. Yeah, oh, right. look it. Um, but right. I don't know. But see, the thing is, is with, with sous vide, it is very much, at least the sous vides that I've, used in the apps that I've used. It's very much like I'm making a steak. Here's how thick my steak is. And then you just plop it in and it oh, goes. Okay. And then in like okay. your last step is just to sear it and that's it. And so if it's that type of, um, you know, experience with the app, then it could be dead simple. You know, there's not a million menus you got to go through. You just look at the app, click it yeah. on what you want and, and go through. Um, sous vide mode huh so it's not yeah. it's not sous vide but it does it does bring in a lot of sous vide vocabulary Stuff. you know yeah and, and the company does make <clears throat> a ton of sous vide devices without the oven right right and it's kind of big i think the guy said it was 22 a little bigger than 22 by like 18 yeah, and it weighs fifty large. pounds. What did you What did you have last week that was on the counter that also weighed fifty pounds? Oh gosh, what was oh, that thing? The, the uh, ice, cream ice cream maker. maker. Yes. Cold snap. <laughs> yes. Yes. I wonder how hot does it get? What's its like max temperature? Wow, that is hot. Four hundred eighty-two. Oh, that seems pretty Fahrenheit. Is that hotter than a normal oven or not? Maybe I'm. Mi no, no, my, my, my gas oven goes up to 550. Okay, okay. Well, then that's different. Okay, I'm thinking of maybe, uh, I know that my Unicoda, which is for making pizza, gets way up there. And I think I'm remembering that the, that the thermometer I had maxed out at 500. And I'm thinking it got to 500, but I think it got to about 1,000 degrees. Oh, my um, gosh. Yeah, it was yeah. super hot. Right. It's no, interesting. Too... I'm definitely, I wouldn't count it out. Um, I would love to see reviews from real people. It's interesting. It's very, very interesting. And, and I'd love to see the app experience. I mean, I, this is something that I could see, um, I could definitely see like a first time homeowner or someone, someone who doesn't, isn't really learning the oven. Um, oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's, you know, yeah. I could almost see like an upscale college student. Like if you were in a dorm, you know, and you don't have an oven, instead of getting a toaster oven or an air fryer or whatever, this would be perfect. And that's, that's what I thought with a June oven too. It's like, it almost doesn't make sense for people who have ovens in the wall of their house. Or, oh yeah, you know, no. Uh, or no. whatever. Oh, Mr. So, Mr. Dave said a self-cleaning oven goes to 880. Oh. Degrees. I don't know. I guess it cleans. It just burns everything it possibly <laughs> it can goes, burn. <laughs> get out of here. It's really hot. Um, and the cost of this was 600 Yeah, it, 600 Yeah, five ninety nine ninety nine. And they they said that they shipped the first. Oh, uh, actually, I, I thought um, not yet. The first batch. Oh, no, batch nine. Yeah. Goes out. Is out. So if you jump in, if you jump in fast, you'll get it by the end of the month, and uh, they have to have a hundred uh, day money back guarantee. That is so, so interesting. Yeah, my uh, my yeah. my uh, yeah. experience with sous vide cooking uh, is boil and bag vegetables. <laughs> that 
It's I mean it's almost the same when you think about it. It's similar. It's it's sealed. And... <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> it is. It's at a constant temperature boiling point. You there know, you go. There you can't go. Can't get any hotter than that. What, I haven't done it lately, but when I was really lazy, I would make pasta, and in the same water as the pasta was boiling, I would throw in a bag of broccoli and cheese sauce, <laughs> and then drain the pasta, Perfect. open the bag of broccoli and cheese sauce, and the dinner was well, done. Done. <laughs> it's done. Yeah. And that didn't cost me anything extra. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's the precision oven, the Innova Precision Oven. Now, this next one, do you have any induction uh, cooking devices? No. When Before I had my own stove, you know, and the house that I had came with gas, induction was like the thing I wanted. I thought induction was so cool. Um, but I ended up either renting an apartment or whatever. You know, I never got to choose what type of stove or uh, yeah. range uh, I had. I, I'm sort of amazed that uh, induction cooking hasn't been big. Right. Uh, but th this next gadget, uh, I'm a little disappointed in the price. But for a college student or like on a boat, this is ideal. So let's see their little uh, video. Introducing Bonbol, the innovative induction cooktop and cookware that is specifically designed and engineered for the active individual who prioritizes cooking a wholesome meal in less the time it takes to grab takeout. It's time to retire that messy stovetop. Bonbol's compact design has a minimal footprint with a tempered glass touch interface that's a breeze to clean. The bowl is specifically crafted to cook and eat out of the same dish, providing you the ultimate convenience of enjoying home-cooked meals on the go in the office or at home. <laughs> Skip the microwave. The cooktop utilizes induction heating technology for superior heating performance, low power usage, and increased safety. Bonbol's precision heat sensor cooks to the exact temperature every time, and you can even use the auto shutoff timer to simply set it and forget it. Bonbol is designed to seamlessly fit into your active lifestyle. We are continuously testing and creating quick and easy recipes to be cooked in your Bonbol. Who said dinner for one had to be boring? Bonbol, the simple meal reinvented. Huh. Maybe that's what I need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I asked the guy uh, how many watts was it, and it's only 500 watts. And I said, can you cook anything, use any other device on top of it? And you can't. And, and I guess you can see in the photo, there's a little... Uh, like knob, a knob that sticks up, and so it comes with the bowl. So you have to use that bowl, and <laughs> it's a hundred and fifty. It's a hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Huh. So now, if you, I, I sent you, I put a link in there. Induction ovens have come down, plummeted in price. The first one I did. Oh my God, it's probably 25 years ago. It was like $600. And now on Amazon, oh gosh, they're yeah. all over the, yeah, look at this. $60. And so for, for those of you who don't know, you know, why induction is so different, yes, it's yes. different from electric where electric, there's, there's an element that is heating and that heat kind of goes through your stove to your cookware with induction, the coil stays cool and any metal that gets near it, it's not any metal, actually. I think it's like iron. And it won't, I don't think mag it, magnetic. Magnetic. So aluminum wouldn't work. No, it, wouldn't, um, it won't work. But anything magnetic, it'll heat up the pan itself without heating up anything else. It's, just, it's like a magnetic field. Um, and so I remember seeing early demos where, you know, you could take the, the pot away and you could put a paper right on the stovetop. Because the stovetop's not the hot thing. It's the actual pan or pot itself. And I thought that was yeah. awesome. Oh, you know what? That was the very demo uh, I did on Regis. I yeah. took a $20 bill, and I put the $20 <laughs> bill on the stove, and then I boiled water through the $20 bill. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, it, it's, it's amazing. They say it cooks twice as fast, as fast as gas. And there's some saving there because as you said, you're not heating everything. You're basically 
uh, putting the heat into whatever you're cooking. But man, the, you are the right. Problem These saying, stove though, is that, types uh, are cheap. Aren't they? Holy moly. It, it, now, the only problem is I could not find one on that list that wasn't uh, 1,800 watts. Oh, I see. Huh. Eat the, the littlest one, well, that there's 1,300 watts. So this 1,800 watts, 1,800 watts, 1,800 watts. Um, huh. The the Bond Bowl is just 500 watts, which would make it good for a boat where you don't have a ton of power or right. maybe you're running uh, through a converter and a uh, battery to AC. But that's the only drawback I see to this is the price. Looks like a hot plate. Yeah, I, I feel like the price is is a is holding it back, and also it's almost like one type use. Like if if it came also with a skillet and also came with a more a pot, you know, I like yeah, the idea a, of being able to use what I'm eating out of, but also. What if I want to cook something else that doesn't fit yeah, into a box? Even even if that little pin thing was removable. Right. So that if you had a small uh, stainless frying pan, you could use it for something else. But it seems just to be wedded to that one pan. Right. And they the guy said they do sell extra pans and extra lids, but um, and, and like I do I like I think that's kind of the point, is that it's so it's so like minimalistic almost. Yeah. But and you eat at, and you eat out of yeah, and you eat out the of it and stuff. It, yeah, you cook it, you cook it in that. Yeah, and it's not so hot that you can't take it and put it on the table right. and eat out of it. But at the same time, my nervous mind is like, but what if, <laughs> what if I want something else? I need, I need all <laughs> options. Well, you got, you got to use your regular stove. Right. Right. Other, pretty cool. I, I like the concept, and I'd love yeah. to I, even just. Um, Gosh, I mean, just making a cookware that's induction that has the induction part, but maybe has a uh, insulated wall around it, because that's what I really feel like is a lot of the bond bowl is it's it has this insulated wall, so you can just pick it up right off the the thing once you're yes, finished cooking yeah, exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. So anyway, it's kind of cool. I Pretty like neat. it. The bond it, bowl. Bond bowl. Now, this last one is a little bizarre. Um, I asked for a product sample. I don't know if I'm getting one or not, but it's the, uh, I, I jokingly call it, would you buy an electric spoon? <laughs> um, all right, so we'll, we'll, we'll look at their video, and they obviously have a sense of humor because this is their Indiegogo video, which is bizarre. Okay. So let's see uh, what we have here with the spoon. A lot. Of spoons in your life. This. Oh, oh, oh. This. To spoon. Or not to spoon. And this. But today we bring you the spoon of the future. Ta da! <laughs> yeah, they're definitely hyping, <laughs> hyping no the kidding. humor. Introducing Spoon Tech, the spoon that enhances the way you taste food. Yes, really. <laughs> so now if I taste yogurt or ice cream or soup or even boiled He hasn't used broccoli. it yet. Lovely. This spoon's going to enhance the flavor and make you enjoy your meals even more. 12 hours and 55 minutes later. And here's the tech behind it. The spoon uses built-in ionic technology and is made with the best in class food safe materials. That way, when your tongue touches the food, it instantly enhances the flavor via a small electrocurrent which passes through the food. This means you taste the difference without receiving any electric charge. The spoon is washable by hand and comes in multiple colours, so you can match it with your regular cutlery. So what are you waiting for? Get your Spoon Tech today. Okay. Hi, I'm Cameron Davido, 
co-founder of Spoontech based in New York City. I come from a family of product developers. Just over 20 years ago, my father and grandfather introduced the spoon in the lid packaging innovation for Colombo yogurt. Okay, I'm, can we go out there? Or is, does he have anything? Uh, oh, no, he's going to explain the uh, okay. W- okay. What, what's in the spoon. Now, this nifty invention, featured on hundreds of millions of yogurt cups, changed the game for eating yogurt on the go. And now, just over 20 years later, my father, Ken, and I are excited to introduce another groundbreaking spoon innovation. We came up with the concept for Spoon Tech in 2017 and have been working on it for the past three years. Spoon Tech's unique technology combines the human body's energy, advanced electronics, and tongue sensory to enhance and heighten taste. Now, this is not a beta product. We've rigorously tested Spoon Tech and are currently in the process of producing molds for our very first batch. We spent a significant amount of time and money into Spoon Tech over the past few years and today are launching our first Indiegogo campaign to make this incredible product a reality. We can't wait for you to try Spoon Tech and for you to take your taste to a whole nother level. Get your Spoon Tech today for just $29 on Indiegogo. Uh, okay, so it must have been another video, but yeah. you there's a, there's a sensor at the back of the spoon that you have to make sure you're touching. Okay. Okay. And then, and then the spoon, the what the food you put in the spoon, will cover the sensor that's in the spoon bowl. Oh, here, here's the video. Uh, oh yeah, there you go. Here, okay. Here. And then an LED light Hi. will tell you that. I'm okay, Ken David, you co-founder of Spoon Tech. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Spoon Tech science. But before I begin, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Okay. A- I don't want to know about yourself. I want to know the, about Spoon Tech science. Many other accolades. Today, we are so excited. Spoon Tech is the first commercial eating utensil that has built-in electronics in the handle <laughs> that enhance flavor, I can't. heighten taste, and improve aftertaste. How do we do this? Well, we do it through sophisticated electronics in the handle. And those electronics coupled with the human body power Spoon Tech. Very simple to use. There is an electrode on the base of the handle Here you go. and an electrode in the spoon bowl. When food makes contact with this electrode in the spoon bowl and your finger makes contact with the electrode on the bottom, a mild electric current is delivered through the food and then to your tongue, your taste buds, and the taste receptors within your taste buds. All of that is what changes and alters taste. It's so simple to use. Okay. So what you do is you. I just. This, I, this, this, this is. I know. Uh, it's. Uh, I know. I, I don't know I, where to I start. I hesitated <laughs> asking them to send me one because I'm afraid they're going to call me up and say, "What did you think of it?" And um, I'm gonna, you're going to say, "It made my mac and cheese taste weird." <laughs> <laughs> it made my soup taste funny. I think you all know, it's going to do is I've seen this in, in at CES another year. I think someone did this with a toothbrush that you when you held the brush that started the contact and then the bristles on your teeth and I don't know what maybe it make the toothpaste taste better. It feel this feels like remember when do you remember when those razors came out with batteries inside that would vibrate the razor? Oh, yes, yes, yes. And that ended up being a huge class action lawsuit because it didn't do anything. It was just a thing with Energizer and, uh, and you know, Mach 3 Gillette or whoever it was. Yeah, yeah, Gillette. And they were just trying to sell batteries. That's what this feels like. They're just trying to sell us batteries to go in all the spoons. Well, I don't think I, I. I think your body develops enough power to to make this. Um, I don't think it needs just, batteries because it's sealed. But I, I'm not gonna. I, I don't know. Stay like so. Like I'm very bearish on it. Definitely, I would try it. But my assumption is it will change the flavor of food, but not always. It's not always gonna enhance it. That's what they're they're <laughs> they're selling. Yes. It will make everything taste better. It feels elevates taste. No, no, that is not going to happen. It's going to change the flavor of everything, 
which in <laughs> I bet is going to be very disconcerting for some of the things I love. I love uh, uh, the chat room. I, I did you did you think it was a joke at first? I don't. Or did you I think from the top that it that it was a real thing? I thought it was a real thing oh, only okay. because like I thought I saw some comments go by. Some comments, people saying, "Is this a joke video?" Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's mostly it's, the humor level that they were taking with their video is something that they wouldn't do if they were if it was a joke. Like if it was. The, oh yeah, the, I see what you said. Like because they were being humorous about it, I was like. They're serious about it. Like you wouldn't be humorous about something you were trying to play off as you were trying to dupe everybody with. Like I no, just I don't think it's a joke. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. But I could be wrong. Yeah. But, well, they're twenty nine bucks. <sighs> Look at how much money they raised. Well, not tons of money. Uh, they got forty thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure on uh, Indiegogo. Do they not set a goal? So they can have a goal type that, that's a, uh, I forget the name of it. It's like a flexible goal. So okay. they have a goal, but if they don't reach the goal, it doesn't matter. They still get the money. Oh, and they still, I see. Okay. Um, is what I think the flexible goal is. Okay. Um, well, there's only five. How many left? There's only four left at twenty nine dollars, <laughs> and then you can only buy two of them for eighty. I don't, oh I don't get. God. I don't get this at all. And then you have to buy four of them for one hundred and forty two dollars, or ten of them. <laughs> this is. I just. It's kind I just of don't pricing, see it. Isn't it? The the. I, also, I think it's so easy to criticize because. You don't know until you try it. Like, I have absolute. It could blow my mind. I mean, this could be, like, the best experience ever. And I would have no idea because the only way to test it is to buy it and use it. And I just... Yeah. No, I know. We'll see. This is the kind of thing at, at CES, if we were there in person and they had a ton of them, they right. might let you... <clears throat> They might unbox one. It's the only way people would try it. Right. Or if they had a like a little portable one. dishwasher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let you taste something and then give you the spoon to take home with you. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, I'm not even sure I want to spend $29 to try one. I don't think I uh, no, Let's see. Absolutely electricity, snack food, right before you put it in your mouth, is definitely going to change the flavor. How brilliant! Why didn't we think of this? I mean, it well, just maybe feels I could do like the it. same with a D battery. <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, how hard would it be to hack this all together and <laughs> just stick an electrode in your mouth, yeah. and then turn it on and eat something real fast? <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't see it. Um, well, it's spoon tech. If you're interested, you better hurry because there's only four left. <laughs> four left. At twenty nine dollars, and then you're gonna have to buy uh, multiples. Oh man. <clears throat> okay. Well. Uh, but but I must say the guy who invented this invented, and I, I saw it years ago. I don't I don't think it's around anymore. He invented the foldable two piece spoon. I, well, yeah, that, he mentioned that in the video, and I yes. almost felt like that was. A criticism is like that has nothing to do with some electric spoon. Oh, I, I, guess, I guess he figured that just to show him that he invented something that was wild. Yeah, I would give him this. credibility. It's like a foldable spoon in my mind. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't want to harp on it too much, but I definitely oh, that was okay. running through okay. my head. Okay. But, in other yeah, words, he, you're saying because we have been podcasting for five years, we cannot produce a major motion picture. <laughs> What are you saying? One doesn't follow the other. You're, yeah, okay. we are going to give Steven Spielberg a run for his money here. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. Spoon Tech. It's <laughs> good. Is point. The name of that good gadget. Point. Well, it is time for uh, another part of the show. Yeah, the amazing uh, Chad's uh, crappy corner. My it's so crappy, my butt.
button doesn't work to start the oh, crappy no, corner. I have to no. come on over here. There we go. You, know, you don't need it, but you <laughs> might want it at your Crappy corner. Get it. Chad, Chad I'm going to stop you for one minute. Okay. I couldn't think of the name. Remember the happy fork? Some of the yes. Chat, Nick with a C said it. Yes. Did he also invent? Do you remember what the happy fork did? Yeah. So it was a, it, it, the, from what I remember, it would help you slow down eating. So it could tell when it was being picked up and when it was being used. And it would like vibrate if you were eating too fast. Too fast. Right. If, I think that's in what is in my mind. <laughs> so it's banging yeah, around okay. in there. Uh, um, anyway, Nick with a C, thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, the happy course. fork. Yeah. The happy fork. Uh, okay, now back to your crappy corner. So we put it to the patrons, and boy, was it close. Here, let's go to the options here. We had... Okay. Drinking gadgets, tranquility gadgets, and cleaning gadgets. But get cleaning, knock out cleaning. Okay. Oh, did I did I mess up? I was no, gonna no. say that that this tranquility is, is in this day and age might be the one. Although <laughs> drinking and tranquility with everything that's going on, <laughs> either one of those could win. It's basically the same thing at this point. Yeah. And I didn't yes, it is. I didn't know how to to communicate this, when I was thinking drinking gadgets, I wasn't thinking alcohol. I was, I was, I almost put in there, you know, water no, no, counts. No, <laughs> water counts as drinking. Um, but yeah, there you go. So, what did you have a guess? Sorry. Uh, my, my guess is it's either tranquility or drinking. Okay. Wow. Uh, I'll go drinking. Drinking one. Tranquility was at the end. Oh my gosh, I can't believe and that. And it only won by two votes. Your Every vote counts, patrons. Get your votes in. So yeah, drinking I gadgets. I can't believe it. All right. Is the winner, which is okay. I was very excited about because I went and got this gadget. I don't have a video made. This is just, this is going to be it. I saw this and my mind was blown away that someone else had not invented this sooner. So drinking gadget is the gadget and um i, I don't I, I wish i could sell it better but there's no great way <laughs> to sell it it's an aluminum drinking cup but it's disposable so this is almost exactly like the red solo cups that you would buy at a, any party store or walmart or whatever and it's made for for drinking at you know events with your friends Except, because it's made out of aluminum, it is so much easier to recycle. And of course, aluminum is so oh, highly gosh. recyclable. Um, I believe on their website, I saw that 70% of the aluminum that is in circulation today is all recycled. So oh. that just is a testament to how amazing aluminum is when it comes to recycling. So I saw it and I had to buy it. So I actually, I only saw it recently. It's on my Amazon order here. Um, where is this? I, th th the 30th, so only like five days ago did I see this thing. Um, and they're not too, they're more expensive than solo cups for sure. So this is a pack of 10 and it cost $8.99. You can also get a pack of 20 and they cost 20 bucks. So about a dollar a cup. Um, uh, a pack of 30. Oh, yeah. Does that say 30? Oh, yeah. It's a 20 ounce pack of 30. 20 ounce, so, yeah. There you go. So 75 cents a cup, if I did my math right. Um, and they are single use. So they do say on the, the cup themselves, not for microwave, not intended for hot beverages, not designed to be used in dishwashers. So it is supposed to be a disposable cup. Um, I was really wondering, like, how what thickness of aluminum are, are we talking about? And it's a pretty thin aluminum, so it's 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 not too thick. Uh, let me see if I can get my. But you could shot. rinse it out in the sink and use it twice, right? Absolutely, but it's it's almost exactly like a solo cup in terms of durability, in terms of all. all so of that nothing sort of hot in it. Right, you're not going to be putting yeah hot soup in this or anything like that. Um, here, sorry, my camera did not work so i'm just trying to grab it back um but 
In terms of recyclability, of course, it's going to be way better because lots of people just toss their solo cups and this you can actually end up using. So it's, it's pretty thin, so I'll, I'll go ahead and kind of bend and destroy this one. You can kind of see that I can easily, yeah. just like with a solo cup, bend and crush this just like anything else. Um, it's, it's, it, it definitely looks super fancy, but it's pretty thin. It's not like an it, actual is it, is thick. Is it thinner than a soda can? It's almost exactly like a soda can. Soda it's almost can, exactly okay. like a soda can. Soda can is a great way to think of uh, the thickness and kind of uh, durability, except that it doesn't have the top, so that it's a little bit more flimsy up there at the top. So this is what the packaging looks like. It comes, um, obviously, as we saw, the pack of 10 or the pack of 30. So I got the pack of 10, not planning on having any get-togethers anytime soon. So I thought pack of 10 would be fine. Um, and then of course, once you're, you're finished with it, you throw it in the recycling instead of in the trash can. And then it can be recycled just like any other aluminum, uh, aluminum oh, okay. thing. And just, it is just like, so I feel like it's so classy. These are made by ball. So you can see the ball yeah, logo the on there. the people who make, uh, j the jars, right? Right, right. So there's that ball logo on them. This is what it looks like. Let's see if we can focus there. Oh yeah. Infinitely recyclable. Infinitely recyclable. Look at that. Okay. And then it has all those warnings there at the bottom. Uh, you know. <clears throat> oh, so you yeah, got that? Not dish, yeah. So that's basically it. Uh, it's just okay. really, you know, just a disposable cup that happens to be aluminum. Um, and uh, they're available on Amazon. And it seems like they've, uh, they, they haven't been available for very long. Um, New is you know, available all over the place. New, new, new. <laughs> um, 300 ratings. And lots of people saying oh, that a lot uh, of people, yeah. they really enjoy them. So there's the, uh, the pack of 30. That's what the 30 pack looks like. Um, and you can see a few shots of cold drinks in there. That's one thing that they, they really hype is that because it's aluminum, it'll keep things cooler. So you have a little bit of... Uh, um, you know, cold retention inside of, uh, it's for aluminum. And it does, it says this right here on the side of the, the box. I was wondering where I had this factoid. 75% um, of all aluminum ever produced is still in use today, which I think is just such a wow, cool that's great. factoid. Wow, that's great. Factoid. That is great. Uh, especially if you're replacing these are uh, using these to replace foam cups. Oh my gosh, that, yes. Uh, in the landfill forever. This oh, is yeah. a way better way to go. Absolutely. Um, and so on the side of the box, it, lightweight and sturdy, strong design retains its shape under firm grip. Uh, cold touch provides a unique cold drink experience that's superior to plastic. And then of course, infinitely recyclable. There you go, the ball aluminum cups. You can check them out on Amazon. And uh, I like them. Uh, uh, I do too. I think it's great. Infinitely go. recyclable <laughs> sells me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh. Adam Jokow Wenko writes, I thought I'd share a little toy gadget. I got it as a gift. It's a fun way to pass time for kids and adults. I keep mine in my home office, and when I have downtown, I grab it, play for a few minutes to break up the day, and when friends come over, socially distanced, <laughs> they like to play with it, too. So here is Adam's new little fun gadget. Hey, Dick and Chad. This is Adam. I thought I would start my video like Mo does with facing the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Be more like him. I like his video. Anyway, here's my gadget. Ooh. I had never seen anything like this before until I got it as a gift. And it's quite cool. So... Before I show you the box, I'll show you that it does rotate and it has a very satisfying. Oh, no joke. When you rotate. 
and both of these rotate every direction you can keep rotating it and you can also twist I think you're probably figuring out now what you're supposed to do so here's the box it's called the flip side I had never seen this before you can basically flip flip slide flip and slide it and you can see there are uh, four different modes speed mode level mode memory mode and multiplayer mode and then you basically flip it and slide it to get the colors to match. So I would describe this as sort of a Simon meets Rubik's Cube. Uh, so if I turn it on, powers up. Oh, wow. And you'll basically change the different modes. Speed mode. Speed. Whoa. Level mode. Memory mode. Mode. The same guy who voices Duke Nukem. <laughs> Volume. That's how you does this. select the mode. So if I did speed mode, it tells you the current current high score, and then if you slide it, it'll start the game. And then the, basically the goal is to match up the colors by twisting and sliding. I'm actually not very good at this, but <laughs> I'll play live so you can sort of see. And then it'll show you, you just have to be able to get all the different colors to line up. And then once you do, it goes to the next set of colors. Oops, nope, nope, nope. There you go, and so on and so forth. So oh, I see. that's pretty that much how crazy. it works. I'm turn it off. Uh, it's quite fun, it's good for uh, kids and adults. Sometimes when I'm bored, I play it. Um, it takes two AA batteries, uh, and it says ages eight and up. So I think that's about appropriate. Uh, I don't think um, you know a four-year-old or five-year-old. Maybe they're they're precocious, but um, it's pretty fun. It's a nice way to pass the time, or you know, if you're feeling fidgety, uh, it's a very satisfying series of clicks when you turn it and spin it. So it's pretty cool. There you go. Love it! Wow. Very nice what flip cool side. Gender. Oh, he didn't tell us how much it cost. Oh, we, I might be able to find it. Do a quick um, flip side thing on Amazon. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, and uh, no joke. That is so satisfying. That <laughs> click, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 yeah, that is in place. That, uh, oh, there it is. 17, 18 bucks. 17, yeah, 18 bucks. That's pretty cool. Very I like nice. It. Yeah. Adam, thank you very much. And um, you will get, I'm going to wait like a week to 10 days because I will be able to send you the April issue of mad. That'll be coming out probably next week. And, um, if you would like to send in a video, we have a couple of videos now since we didn't do any videos in January, but we're still looking for more a video, one to three minutes, any kind of gadget like Adam found that neat little gadget that we all learned about flip side. If you have an old gadget in the garage, we love it when you find old gadgets that meant a lot to you when when you first bought it for $800 and now it was $3 at Goodwill. Uh, make a little video, one to three minutes, horizontal. Make sure we can see the gadget and hear you the way Adam did. And put it on YouTube. There's a drop-down menu. You can click unlisted, and that way only people with the URL can see it. And send us the URL so we can show it. And it goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. If you live in the U.S., you get the current issue of MAD. If you live anywhere else in the world and we show your video, uh, I'll sign a 39-year-old Alfred E. Newman photo and send you a high-res image that you can print out no matter where you are. Okay, so get those videos in. Mail at gizwiz.tv thanks so much with that let's move on to the letter now now all right so we have a continuing thing with people contributing every week to weird masks that you can wear <laughs> uh, we've had several and this one, this one is kind of unique. I don't have the guts to wear it, but I'll just read some quickie <laughs> note. Hi, Dick and Chad. Ran across this face mask this morning online. Maybe this is the future, says Linda Norman. 
And this is the mask that she saw. And is there a video for me to play? Uh, no? no? Maybe. Oh, no video? <clears throat> oh, okay. I thought there was. But uh, the face recognition LED. How much are they? Oh, my God. They're 25 Oh, they're bucks. 26 bucks. Yeah. Um, I'm still trying Well, basically, to... <laughs> I think as you talk... Doesn't the move. LA series of LEDs light up. Oh, I, oh there it is down there. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like, it actually kind of brings a little bit of cartooniness to, to yeah, you know, whatever you're that's saying. Kind of, that's kind of funny. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> so we're watching a little video. If you're watching the show, you know what we're doing. But if you're yapping, it's like a mouth is like opening and closing, but it's like uh, an 8 bit mouth. Oh, that is so and, interesting. Um, you can answer yes will be green and no is red. <laughs> I love these totally fun. not photoshopped images of <laughs> people at a club. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Um, that is so interesting. So you, if you oh. say something like good night, it might show a moon. Or if you say happy birthday, or you show something. Oh happy my Halloween. gosh. I think that's so well, this cool. Is, th this is, you know, go back up again to the price because it looked like if you bought two, you got a third one free. Yeah, oh, no, you have to buy three. And then buy oh, you three. buy two, you save $10. Right. If you buy three, you save $25. Wow. Buy five. And if you buy three five, free. you save $76. Hmm. Wait, um, how does that? I think that's, I think they're kind of fun. Yeah, I think they're, they're yeah. Those are those are pretty cool. Um, I like it. Also, I I misspoke uh, and got some emails. I was like, oh, that it's not even in ninety five. That won't do anything for you. And yes, I do I do realize that whenever you're wearing a mask that's not in ninety five, you're protecting others. You're not just protecting yourself whenever you wear a mask. And I, I did not make that clear. Wait, wait a second. You saying if you're wearing anything but an N ninety five? As just so I had kind of ragged on some of the masks that we had seen that had HEPA filters instead of the N ninety five filters. Oh. And it is true. If you're wearing that, obviously you're going to be protecting the people around you um, from your germs. Uh, it it's not the highest quality in any way. So someone was very upset and saying, Oh, okay. I was spreading misinformation. I just misspoke. So I just oh, wanted to okay. get that out oh, there. Okay. Um, and so, yeah. uh, I re was reading on Johnny Jet's column that airlines may require uh, N95 masks that people will have to wear as opposed to going on with anything they have. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, they just so need to make fly, sure they don't keep wearing it when the drinks and snacks come down the aisle. <laughs> they just can't take them off. I don't know if they're doing that. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of airlines just cut out food and drinks. Yeah, uh, exactly. So yeah. who knows when things are going to be back to normal? <laughs> I'm not even going to guess at this point. There's, no, there's no, no, was, no timeline that... I could say is accurate. It could, it could yeah. be, you know, I, yeah, just, I'm not even going to guess. And I'm not even sure about <laughs> CES 2022. Exactly. Who yeah. knows? Toy, Toy, Toy Fair, which is this month, was originally just moved. They moved it to May. And then last week they just said, no, it, it can't happen uh, in May. I mean, part of the reason is our convention center the javits center is a hospital yeah <laughs> where they're giving out uh the show where dennis and i are going in next month to get our covid shots oh, so um do not know when in-person events will be again yeah well in the meantime we're going to keep it digital here at gizwiz and i want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I was just looking the other day, and we have so many patrons that have been patrons for years. Like, over five years is n is normal. And so I just want to say we really, 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 really appreciate y'all. It's a, it's amazing. Sticking around. I just, I, I too, 
I think we're soon we're going into year six of independent production. And mm-hmm. on February 20th, it'll be starting year 15. Yeah, I have, I have, I have the Gizwiz's birthday on my calendar. <laughs> yeah. Year 15. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. <sighs> anyway. So anyway, just want to say we appreciate y'all so, so, oh, so, so, so much. Absolutely. So thank you. And uh, if you love the show, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz, or you can head to our website, gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there's a PayPal link on that page of our website if you want to give via PayPal. However you give, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Speaking of gizwiz.tv, we're live every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. If you want to watch the show, just head to the website, gizwiz.tv, and the main page will be taken over somewhere in between that, you know, 7 and 7.30 time, and uh, it'll, it'll all be good for you to watch. You can join the chat room and chat along with the rest of the fans, and while you're there at gizwiz.tv, you can subscribe on iTunes, RSS, on YouTube, and you can see all of our previous episodes with our show notes there as well. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website, where he writes up fantastic articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. So if you're looking for more information about a gadget, gizwiz.biz is the best place to go to find out more information. While you're there, play what? the heck is it? It's the game show online where you got to figure out what this gadget is. We don't give you the name. We don't give you the brand, <laughs> but you got to know what that is. And um, this is obvious to me uh, that it's, uh, it kind of looks small in the photo, but that's just, that's a red herring. It's actually quite large and it's a, uh, a porta potty that doesn't have a lot of privacy. <laughs> Not a lot of privacy at all. Uh, so if you think you know what this is, get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Six mad magazines for correct answers, but 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. So get a guessing. That's a total of 18 magazines up for grabs. And I'll uh, give you a little preview. I don't know if I'm supposed to show ooh. it yet. But you'll be playing for ooh. the April issue. Spy versus spy and issue? I, you know, they they did all kinds of spy versus spy and uh, mo- crime movies. And anyway, somehow I ended up having 17 pages of what? material in this issue. Wow. Holy moly. No money, no money, but 17 pages <laughs> of uh, material. <laughs> when they buy you material, could, you could they be bitter about. Ever. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Uh, sorry, I interrupted you. What were you no, saying? No, that's okay. I, I was going to say, when you sell mad something on the back of the check, it says, by signing this check, <laughs> you are giving over, it's a paragraph, it's literally a paragraph. Oof. You sign over all rights in all forms forever and ever and ever. In perpetuity, they said. Yes, exactly. Oh, man. Well, I'm looking forward to that. That, lo- that looks really cool. Uh, and with that, we'll see you next week. I'll be here.